guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to the third installment of my gift guides this year. If you've missed them, we have done the gift guide for him. We've also done the gift guide for her, so I'll leave them linked below if you did miss them or want to give them a little watch. But today is probably one of my favorites. Today is the stocking filler, secret Santa type, more on a budget gifts and smaller things to fit within stockings. So this for me was so much fun having a good shop around of all the little bits that I have accumulated to include within this video. So if you haven't already, make sure you are set, comfy, relaxed with your nice cozy festive drink of choice and some snacks. I hope you take away some gift ideas from this video and let me know any other suggestions of stocking fillers and secret Santa gifts that we can pop in the comments below and share with everyone some more ideas. Without further ado, I feel like we could just jump straight into this video. So I'm going to start with something that is a kind of a bit of a tradition for us in our family and also for me. I always like to gift these for people at Christmas, whether they are table place settings, in your stockings, in your Christmas cards. They are, of course, Christmassy scratch cards. So I feel like I might as well give a scratch card a little test out. So here we have this one just a pound, top price of 250 grand, which would be lovely, wouldn't it? So I need a coin though. Hmm. It says match three to win. So we have a 100 pounds. We have a two pounds. We have a 250,000 pounds. We have another 250,000 pounds, imagine. We have a 10 pounds, a two pounds, a 50 pounds, a 250,000 pounds, a 5,000 pounds. Let me just show you this. Match three to win. 250, 250,000, 250,000. It's a joke scratch card. What do you think? First gift idea. So we've actually pulled this prank on a couple of family members. But if you have that family member that you want to prank, get them with this. I know of someone that has done this to a guy at the races for his birthday made him buy all the champagne for the day and then told him mm -mm. <laughs> it's just a joke if you actually look at the reverse of this scratch card it even says on it match three identical amounts to not win those amounts for prizes of one to one thousand pounds ask your local bank for the money for prizes over a thousand pounds give santa a call and inform him of your need for money if you're still reading this then it's time to smell the coffee and realize you've been pranked it even has on there the odds it says overall odds of winning a prize are approximately zero in 8.6 so i just think it's a bit of fun i mean these two are actual genuine scratch cards but if you want to prank a family member in particular you get everyone a scratch card a genuine one that might win a couple of quid they might win nothing they might win a hundred pounds who knows but then that one person wins 250 grand it's literally just a couple of quid from etsy you can buy them on amazon ebay wherever and there's loads of different designs as well but i thought i'd go with a festive one for this video but moving on to the next um item i suppose this is kind of in line with card a gift card of some kind this is just a white company gift card that you can pick up from the supermarket and activate it at checkout another thing i quite like the idea of is doing a bit of a tradition of buying a bauble like a really nice bauble just one a year whether you give it to your family member like a mum or someone on christmas day or whether you do it before christmas day i think it's quite a nice tra tradition then you build up an accumulation of really nice baubles so this one Again, it's a bauble, so let's go all out. Let's go Fortnum and Mason's. It's just a traditional little Fortnum and Mason's hamper basket, which obviously has the hanging loop in leather, and then it also has the Fortnum and Mason's kind of olive green ribbon there, and the F&M printed on the front of the basket. So my mum and I actually got matching of these. These were like 19 pounds, 20 pounds. It's a good amount for a gift, I feel, if you're gonna gift a bauble to someone. To get a nice Fortnum and Mason's one, it's a bit of a treat. So I also picked up quite a few kind of like 
homeware bits, some beauty things, and then some food and drinky type items. So I'm just gonna share them with you. This is probably the biggest item I have included for within this stocking filler gift, guys. So if you wanna bulk it out, then by adding a tube of something, whether it be a tube of chocolates or something, just kind of fills out the stocking quite nicely. So these are scented draw liners from Zara Home. These are in the scent Clementine, so perfect for a festive gift. They are, I mean, it says on the back 9.99 euros. I think it was that in pounds as well, so 10 pounds. So I'm gonna stick with the kind of homeware gifts. Now you've gotta be the right kind of person to be gifting for this next item. If you're a Hinch lover, Stacey Solomon lover, or if you're buying for someone who is that, then is Zaflora. Now this is the latest Zaflora that is out there. So maybe, like I said, for the Zaflora Hunter, then to get them the brand new one, which is Fur Needle and Amber. It's Christmassy themed. It's the medium size one. So I think these are about two pounds each. And then also if you wanna go a more premium kind of cleaning Hinch product, then again, back with the Zara Home. This is a multi-surface cleaner that I think looks really nice. It's in the scent Golden Grass, which is bergamot, ginger, and lemon. And the fact that it comes in this glass bottle, you could get it with like a matching minky or something. You could do a full-on hinge hamper. So I also got this for kind of like the home fragrance, a home spray, whether it be a linen spray, room spray. Again, something a bit different to your box standard Febreze fabric refresher. This one is from Home Scent or TK Maxx, whichever one I picked it up from. I think it was about five pounds and I picked this one up because I loved the branding of it. Again, in the nice glass bottle, wooden lid. This is in the scent vanilla, cedar and tobacco. Again, sticking with home fragrance. I actually featured in my gift guide for him video kind of incense burner and incense sticks. Now these are just more budget incense sticks but you can go a bit more premium. But these are just Primani. Primark uh, gifting for Christmas by the way is amazing. But anyway, these are perfect for little stocking fillers. Incense sticks, you get 20 in a pack. I've got this one, which is the Retreat Cedarwood, which I picked up from the wellness section. And then this one for a bit more of a festive touch is in Frankincense. And these are £2.50 for the set of 20. I think that one was £2.50. This one was cheaper. There's no price left on it, but I think that was only about a pound, that one. Then I also got some wax melts, again, for the wax melt burner lover. I feel like these are a good one to go for because they look nice and they're still affordable as well. It's from the Edited Life range, which is in Dunelm. At £4, you get a set of wax melts and you can pick the fragrance. This is a pack of eight wax melts in the scent Mint. I thought this one would be quite good for in a kitchen. It's kind of like peppermint vibes like at Christmas time it's quite nice but obviously all year round mint is lovely and then I also picked up this for in the car I just think it looks really nice for a car fragrance air freshener maybe for someone if they're a new car owner to buy them a little luxury car fragrance stick this one was £9.50 from M&S Home and this is in the scent balance that they do which is a really nice scent that is vetiver, geranium, black pepper, jasmine and cinnamon leaf. Then a couple of items from the White Company. You can never go wrong with a gift from the White Company in my opinion. So I think for stocking fillers in particular it's quite good to get little fragrance oils. These are good for popping on potpourri, popping on a fake Christmas tree. You can pop these on little linen bags and pop them under cushions or inside cushions. You could put these in an aromatic electronic diffuser or an oil wax melt burner. So this one in particular is one that I love to pop on the Christmas tree and have out when the Christmas tree is out and it's in fir tree. They're 10 pounds per fragrance oil. And then this one is so popular that I picked up two of them. I think it's the first time they've done the fragrance oil in this scent and it's in the fireside scent, which I actually have a big candle of for this year for this Christmas. Love it. If you really like that smoky, woody kind of scent it literally smells like a burning fireplace it's amazing so they're 10 pounds each and then also their tea lights i thought was a good suggestion for a stocking filler so these usually retail for about 15 pounds and you get in the set of 16. they do have some star tea light ones which are better suited maybe for that sort of festive time of the year. And then what else should I show you? Another kind of home fragrance alongside, and maybe a little candle or something. You could pick up this Zara Home, yet again Zara Home, killing it with the really nice kind of stocking filler gift ideas um, without them being too sort of 
festive, you know, they're just really nice gifts. So this one is a set of matches in a glass jar with a cork lid, it's got the little match lighter thing on the back and the fact that it looks pretty with the white tipped matches I think makes for a really nice kind of on display item. How could you not include a mug within a stocking filler gift guide? So I found these two in B&M recently, I thought they looked so nice, they are ceramic. At first when I saw them on their Instagram I thought they were going to be those tin mugs, enamel, enamel mugs, but they're not, they're proper ceramic mugs and this one says time to get cosy and then this one says cosy up with a hot hug. I really couldn't decide between the two so I decided to pick up one of each for myself and Tom for some nice festive hot chocolates in there. Two pounds each. Pounds. So last of the kind of homeware items, again you have to be the right person to be buying for for this, but again a new homeowner, someone who loves their home, making it look nice, a tea towel, something useful like a tea towel, oven gloves, something practical that looks nice rather than your box standard cheap Poundland ones. I got this one from Denham. I actually have a few of these stockpiled away for when we renovate and build our new kitchen because I think they look lovely. They're from the Linen Union range. These are the glass cloths. So they're that kind of fabric material, linen, that is a good glass polisher because you don't get loads of lint on your glass. And this is from Dunelm at six pounds. And then moving on to books, I feel like a small book of some kind, whether it be a joke little fun book or fact book or something fun to put within a stocking. So I picked up a selection of really small books that I thought would be a great addition to a stocking. This Vex King one is the second of his motivational I just loved reading his first one. So I've got this one, Healing is the New High. I picked this one up from Costco. And then also the rest of these are from The Works. So just got a selection for anyone who's a vegan out there. Lucy Watson's Awakenings book, it's been reduced down to three pounds. And then I also got the Calm Journal. Again, really nice for those who are into meditating, relaxation. It's just a kind of guided journal which allows you to keep calm. This one for the intellect who maybe wants a little toilet book to have beside the loo. A, a word a day, 365 words to augment your vocabulary. This is reduced from 10 pounds down to just a pound. Let's learn a new word. Sequacious. Adjective. Sequacious is an uncomplimentary term to describe someone who is happy to adopt an idea or opinion without giving it much thought. Derived from the Latin sequac or sequax, meaning inclined to follow the first recorded use of the word in English was 1643. And then I also got this one again, a bit of fun, one pound, I've seen this before, F in exams it's called, and it's just a funny paper blunders, it's basically where people have given answers in, <laughs> can you hear Tom downstairs, he's playing with Barney, explain what is meant by the term pastoral farming, it's a farm run by vicars. <laughs> So anyway, that was a pound, and then this one was also a pound. Oh, Boris, for anyone who's into politics, all about his blunders, what he said, and cringy scenarios from Boris. The man, the hair, the gaffes. And then this one is games for bored adults. Challenges, competitions, activities, and drinking games. So now we're gonna go on to beauty, and the first item that I included, I purchased myself recently, and I thought, you know what, I'm gonna put that to one side and including it as a stocking filler because I think it's a great way to be able to afford a little a bit of luxury, a bit of designer without breaking the bank. So Gucci Beauty in Selfridges sell this which had been sold out when I picked it up he was like it's been sold out for four weeks. Basically a highlighter but it's not just a highlighter it's multi-purpose kind of gel balm type thing so it comes in a little pot like so and it's got the baby pink and gold Gucci font, the frosted glass, and it's just a clear formula that you can use as a highlight sort of on the top of your cheekbones for that glassy kind of wet look finish. Along the nose for a bit of highlight, on the lips, you can actually use it on your lips as well as a gloss. Pretty affordable for Gucci at £18. I don't think anything that they sell is £18. They also included a couple 
free samples if you go in store. I feel like they do tend to do that as well. And then some more beauty products. I feel like this is kind of an essential. Everyone tends to have a hand sanitizer in their bag nowadays. And this is the one from Aldi. This is the Jo Malone dupe in number one, lime basil and mandarin. And then I got a couple of new items from Lano Lips. That actually, they'd sent these out. They've got a bronze one that I really want to try. It's just a, again, multi-purpose balm ointment type product. This one's in baby rose gold and rose gold. But any kind of lip balm as well would be really good. This is fab for a little stocking filler. It's part of the Christmas range from Espar. This is the Restful Pillow Mist. So it comes, like I said, in a little hanging Christmassy themed packaging but this pillow mist we have a larger full-size one beside our bed and it honestly smells so good it's so relaxing it's the perfect kind of bedside cabinet drawer thing to pop in so that you can spritz your pillow every night i love that and then some more goodies that were sent to me from loxy tan i wanted to include because i think they do Christmas gifting really really well all the packaging and everything is themed they have really good price points they have some unique ideas so we've got a fragrance for him they obviously do loads of different fragrances this linen pouch full of travel essentials so again good for if you're purchasing for someone who is a keen traveler shaving gel a soap and shampoo and conditioner, shower gel, a good little travel pouch as well to keep your travel products within. And then I also picked up this as a set. I feel like these work quite well together. L'Occitane is amazing for hand cream, again in the festive packaging. And then to pop with it, this, which is a, oh, upside down. It's called the Magic Key and it is great for using at the end of a product whether it be a to toothpaste tube or a hand cream tube to really squeezing out all that product and you kind of roll it up as you go and then last for the beauty i picked up this from primark at two pounds it's a net pouch with these reusable face wipes in so that you can pop these in the wash use them to take off your makeup the last category last and final is food and drink of which i have a few things to share with you i feel like you can never go wrong with hotel chocolat and i picked up this for just a couple of pounds from the front of the counter when i was paying and i actually picked this one up i thought these would make good as stocking fillers but also as place settings for your guests if you're hosting at christmas just 40 percent milk chocolate in there and it's just three individually wrapped tiddly santas they're called which is so cute and then again for a good little table place setting i thought this would be a good idea a set of 10 mini crackers so whether or not you want to maybe purchase this for if you're buying for about 10 different people and you want to pop them within everyone's gift maybe keep a couple for yourself or again if you're hosting at christmas a good table place setting to have these little crackers from hotel chocolate is just adorable within them there are different flavors of chocolates you've got billionaire shortbread salted caramel cream caramel cheesecake pecan praline and dizzy praline 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 I'm gonna have to change my battery. Ooh. And then I always think Nespresso pods are a great addition to a stocking if the person you're buying for has a Nespresso machine. So these ones are not actually Nespresso, they're Nespresso compatible. Oh, they are actually buying Nespresso. There we go. So you can pick these up in the supermarket, but they are Starbucks Holiday Blend Limited Edition coffee capsules. And then I thought these would go well. I picked these ones up from Asda. And then as to sell these coffee cups, these uh, disposable coffee cups, you know, for if you're going on a nice long countryside walk and you just want to be able to take a disposable one and then bin it on a route, they kind of go with the theme. They're festive, they're cute, good for hot chocolates too. If coffee isn't your thing, then maybe tea is. And these are sold at Dunelm. Dunelm have loads of gifting from Twinings. So I thought this would be good in a stocking. It's only £3. And within here you get five twining's finest teas so you get english breakfast tea earl grey tea everyday tea asante lady grey tea oh i've never heard of that one before tea with the fragrant flavor of orange bergamot and lemon nice i'm not really a tea drinker i'm more of a coffee drinker personally or a gin drinker so this is from bnm this is a little cracker with a alcoholic beverage in this is tanqueray gin i love tanqueray gin but this one in particular sevilla 
has orange in. The fact that they're in a cracker, good as a stocking filler, but also good as a table place setting. And then I also got this from Home Bargains, just a good hot chocolate lover, will love these hot chocolate spoons. They had different flavors. I think they had salted caramel, and then this one, which was orange flavor. It comes on the actual stick, and you just stir in some hot milk. So the last thing I got is from Primark, from the gifting section. They have loads of like foodie kind of products and gifting, which I actually included some within my gift guide for him and for her actually but this one is a good size for just within a stocking it's just a little something it was five pounds and it's one of these um oil canister type things which is infused gourmet oil italian oil with garlic flakes basil bay leaves i think they had a different flavor as well like a chili oil so that is everything that i picked up for including within my stocking filler gift guide let me know which were some of your favorites that i included which things that you're maybe going to go ahead and purchase yourself and of course any other suggestions for myself and for anyone else watching leave them in the comments below and we can have a read through and see what you guys recommend too stay tuned for sunday's video which is going to be my gift guide for supporting smaller businesses and again if you missed out on the previous two gift guides or any from last year then i'll leave them linked below where you can search back on my channel to get them for even more ideas so anyway thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed thumbs up if you did subscribe for more and i hope to see you all on sunday thanks for watching and i'll see you again next time bye guys